Hello adventurers! Today we're gonna check out the largest freshwater lake in Croatia which is called Vdransko Vdransko Jezero or Jezero <laughs> But before we start the video please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos of us Drop a thumbs up as well This lake that we're going to now, it's one of the many national parks that you can find dotted around Croatia. A couple of the other ones that are worth mentioning is Kurka National Park. You also have Plitvica, which is like waterfalls, lots of cool nature. I think Kurka has some waterfalls as well. And then as well, you have the Kornati uh, Nature Park, which is the islands. Now, we haven't actually gone to those three yet, but we're definitely going to be checking some of them out if we do get the chance while we're here. Can't wait to check this place out. Um, I've seen a lot of Google reviews and a lot of sort of positive um, reviews about this place as well. So we're excited. We're on our way there now. We should be there in a couple of minutes. We've been walking now for around 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes in the same direction and we haven't seen anyone so yeah it's a pretty desolate area that you need to walk um, down to get to this lake something that we might suggest if you do have a little bit of extra money is to get a bus i'm pretty sure there's plenty of buses that go uh, to this lake so that might be something for you to think about if you are going to visit this lake because let me tell you something if you're coming here in june july august may even it's going to be hot and we're suffering <laughs> we made it finally so we walked about eight kilometers through the wilderness basically <laughs> just to farmland to get here but we finally did it it was a tough walk um, like i was saying earlier there 26 degrees um, is all it is today so typically 26 degrees for croatia in june is it's an average day like it's not too warm but i'm telling you we're dying we had to come we're sitting under a tree now just before the lake so we're gonna go explore that now in a sec we're being invaded oh no hello. hi hello kitten how are you oh no how cute hello. are you <laughs> say hello to youtube hello <laughs> into and um, it's actually a camping site so it's kind of fenced off around the edges which means we can't really go and directly explore around the lake area so what we've done is we just basically went down sat down around the camping area itself checked out the views absolutely stunning and um, so what we're going to do now is there's a neighboring town close by to here called Paco Stane. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong, but we're gonna go check that town out. We're gonna grab something more heavy um, in terms of calories because all we've had so far is like those little seven day chocolate croissants. So we're gonna grab something to eat and then we're gonna find a different place to explore around the lake. Back on another deserted road. 
This time, hopefully, not for eight kilometers. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool. We stumbled across an archaeological site here on the path from Varana to Pakistani. Um, very interesting. Apparently, they found over a hundred bodies from the 12th to 15th century. Um, very, very interesting. Check this out. The Church of St. Mary? Yep. Okay. The Kirk Venus site is situated in the central part of cadastral plot number 51 um, of the municipality of Pakistani. Archaeological excavations commenced here in 2006 as a part of the scientific research project Archaeological Heritage of South Croatia. Interesting stuff. Do you think we can climb? Climb what? There. Just a little bit to see what kind of a view you would get. Oh, another lizard surprised me. <laughs> There's the lake. Standing up here now on top of these ruins and it's a pretty eerie feeling. Um, you can see here where a couple of uh, bodies were obviously found and now they have the, um, the actual stone or the tombstones that are marking where the bodies lay. It's extremely hot. Here we have a wild Naomi scaling down a old 12th century ruin, hoping she doesn't fall to her death. Onwards we go, we're continuing our journey now from um, the Varansko Lake to Pakostani. Hopefully we can get some nice cold beverages, maybe even a beer. Sandwich. And a sandwich. And we have arrived at Paco Stane. Let's check this place out. Look what we found. We found a massive supermarket. So thank God we're gonna go and get something to something to snack on. Hopefully something refreshing as well. Happy days, so we got two aloe vera drinks. Very nice, I got a watermelon flavor. What did you get? Mango. She got mango. Um, I got a strudel, sour cherry strudel, a very German of me. Um, and then, strudel's not even German, no? Maybe Austrian. Strudel is German, but not with sour cherry. Yeah. <laughs> and then Naomi got, I don't know what she got, sausage rolls? I think it's a sausage roll, yeah. Yeah, something with some kind of... Uh, Keep it German. Yeah, some kind of meat in there. But the total came to... 30 kuna. 30 kuna, so 4 euro and something cents. <laughs> Cheap, cheerful. We're in the shade, we're in Pakistani now, and we're going to chow down. Welcome to farmland Croatia. So just to give you guys an idea about where we actually started from, we are here, uh, Biograd, Namoro, this is where we're staying. We're actually staying like right here in the center. And we walked all the way, all the way to here. So this was where the first part of the actual video of, of the lake is. And you can see here by this map, just how big the lake is and how much space it actually takes up. This here is Pakistani, so this is where we walked to. We were here, we walked down here, down here, and now, right now, we're somewhere around here. So we're trying to find a kind of a different entry or viewpoint 
of the, the lake itself. It's just very difficult to do it by foot. One takeaway uh, from this whole experience is if you're coming to uh, Vransko de Zero, bring a car, rent a car, or rent a scooter or something like that. We're gonna end the vlog here. Um, the, we spent the last few hours really on the lake enjoying the shade and going for a swim really because as you can probably see both of us got a lot of <laughs> got a lot of sun. Um, please forgive me mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it became a little bit too much. Um, we were doing a lot of walking as we are still doing now on the sun here for some reason it just always seems to be shining directly over us or in front of us so there really was no actual escape so as you can see we got some pretty bad sunburn but we hope that we captured enough of the actual lake itself for you for you to see for you to hopefully be inspired to come here and visit it yourself just keep in mind that it, there's a lot of nature around it because it is a nature park and it's pretty strange because there's, there's so much forest and forestation around it, lots and lots of uh, wildlife as well. So keep that in mind because I was going to go for a swim, but I decided against it because the lake is totally green because of how much growth is going on inside it. We're going to walk home now uh, to Biograd Namoru, so it's going to be another eight kilometers for us walking. In the sun. In the sun. Uh, we're not going to torture you with that part. And that's it really. So please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of us. Have a nice day. Peace.